Radio Felician University. Everything Alternative, Radio Felician, the Falcon Cannons with Loving You. Well, as stated before, I got two very special guests. We got Jim and Sean here, and they are from the New Jersey Gamers Symphony Orchestra. They're going to be playing this weekend at the Williams Center, so be sure to get your tickets. The whole reason we're advertising out here. But they play on, on Sunday at 5 p.m. But first, I got to ask, what exactly kind of games are we talking here? Because I'm really intrigued. I think, let's see, what's some of the some of the stuff we've got? We've got uh, yeah, Sonic, Star Fox. Um, Phoenix some, Wright. Phoenix Wright, yeah, some classics, some old and some newer games, as well as some, yeah. you know, fairly modern, fairly um, indie games. We've uh, got a, yeah. We always seem to have at least one game that people go, I have never heard of that game before. Yeah. Because, like, for example, uh, I'm not going to give away the one this time, but the one last time was from Super Robot Wars at th- uh, alpha th- something. Super Robot Wars Third Alpha. It was a game I have never heard of. But I've then never got heard really of it. into it once after I <laughs> once we played it. And um, what what kind of instruments are we talking when we're when we're playing this? Because when when I hear like gamer music, I'm thinking of like that bit, that like 64 bit kind of sound so, thing. It's not. Really, I see you shaking uh, your head. We are not like a classic orchestra. We have a lot of instruments that you normally wouldn't see in an orchestra. We have synths as well as some. Um, a lot of basically like guitar, yeah, bass, lot, guitar. bass guitar we have a drum set and an orchestra it's a lot of just basically almost any instrument you can think of yeah. we probably have it in our orchestra but we still have the the standard orchestral uh, setup such as you know full strings uh, saxophone trumpet tuba Sean here is what euphonium euphonium yeah and then the, uh, the and then you have a choir with it which is what I'm part of mm, pretty cool and um, when it comes to the um, so, my bad. What other uh, venues do you play at? Like, um, I know you're playing at the Williams Center, but are there other places that you guys perform? Uh, we've done a few other places over time. It's it's actually gotten to be a little trickier because of the size yeah. of uh, uh, of the orchestra because of how much we've grown. But uh, la- this earlier this year, we played at um, oh where was the li- where was uh, the library somewhere? Didn't we also play in Springfield? Uh, we played at Springfield the Digital Press, yeah, which is a uh, a a game store. There's one in Springfield and one in I want to say Clifton. I never remember. It's, the, it's around there. It's I Digital think, Press. It's on, it's on 46. Yeah, yeah Digital Press. Um, but there's also um, there's a a library up here in this area that has a a small like library con at the end of a uh, like a kids book week, mm-hmm. and we've brought a small group up to play for that this March. So that's, but usually it's, uh, it's you know, the Williams Centers, our current venue, we, this is our second show there. We've also played at uh, our rehearsal venue, which is out in Little, Little Falls. Falls. Yeah. All right, all pretty cool stuff. And about the foundations of, like, how did all this get started? I'll have you answer that. <laughs> okay, that uh, our, our uh Conductor and music director, Alisa Menes, she decided to put together a a small group back in 2014. It's 2014. 2014. 2014. 2014. It's 2014 because we're yeah. coming up on our 10-year uh, with about 11 people. And uh, they originally played at Digital Press up in Clifton. And then over time, it's just slowly grown by... Word of mouth, uh, picking people up for at other shows, such as I first saw them at a convention called uh, Video Game Con, which was out in Parsippany. They've also been at uh, at the Meadowlands Expo Center, which I know uh, the NGGSO has played at, or in its former incarnation, the Montclair Gamer Symphony yeah. Orchestra, but now we've gotten a little bigger because we have people coming from all over the place. from Everywhere. We, we've got someone coming from Pennsylvania. We've got people coming from New York. We've got people coming from South Jersey to be part of this. And we grew from about 11 people to now we Almost are around 90. 70. Uh, I think we're pushing 80. Wow. Oh, God. Every time I turn around, the number's larger. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, so that very humble beginnings there to a really big grow right there. And um, so, I'm sorry. Um, how, how long about is this show in... Like, I think it's going to take like an hour and a half. Hour and a half Around should an be. Hour and a half. Should be about, uh, we, we've got about 10 selections, and uh, 
we have uh, door prizes. We also have yeah. a bake sale, and I I believe Mike is uh, is making some new coffee again. Oh, yeah. So that's yeah. gamer themed titles. Uh, it's it, it's it's a good time, and it's it's a wonderful location. The the Williams Center being uh, just a hundred year old building, a hundred year old theater. Especially that, local, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's got some history. Those those types of buildings don't tend to stay around because I know because we used to have seven of them in my town. All seven are gone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's one of very few of those older venues left. Mm -hmm. um, and it's my understanding that a lot of these pieces are original. Uh, they're or, they're not original, but it's the arrangements are. That, that's where the, the, most of the members arrange their them. own pieces. Yeah. So we we come up with ideas of like. Um, Hey, this game is pretty cool, and this song from this game is pretty cool. And then our arrangers work on it, or they bring up some selections that they've made their sums, and then they uh, the directors vote on them, and mm -hmm. it's all um, so it's all all the members arrange their pieces from it. So it's not I wouldn't say it's original, but it's arranged based off of the game music. Yeah, like like for example, uh, I'll use like I'll I'll use Bobby Etu as an example. Like mm -hmm. Pete heard that, and it's a song from a game that he he didn't play. It's one of the hilarious things. One of our one of, one of our arrangers has a habit of uh, arranging songs from games that he hasn't played, and but he does an amazing job with them. He's like, oh, yeah. okay, and we've got the strings and the choir, and and he he puts together and puts together basically the sheet music for all the parts and the full score, and then we work on that and perform it. There are some really difficult pieces and some really challenging pieces, but it all comes together towards the end and oh, sounds amazing. Definitely. A lot of talented people coming together and make there, some great There are art, so right? many. I have, um, I, I'm the oldest member of the orchestra. I, I turn 49 next week. We got the youngest one here, 19, <laughs> so we've got a huge range here. Very wide age range. Uh, yeah. And I've, I've been in music for 40 years, and some of these people are some of the most talented people I have ever managed to be around. Really cool. And is there anything else you guys wanted to add besides my um, Other than that, come see us Sunday. Uh, doors open at 4.30 at the Williams Center. Come get there early if you want a seat. We will, we had almost a f packed house last, yep. last time. It is a free concert, so just want to make sure that, you know, if anyone's like, hey, sounds good, we'll go. Yeah, it's a, it's a free concert. Right. The, only, the only thing to pay for is stuff at the bake sale. <laughs> yes, come support us. Yes. So that, that helps us, that helps support us with our our rental fees for our practice venues and our performance venues and, and everything we want to do during during the year. So uh, you can also find us at njgso.org and on YouTube at New Jersey GSO. We just recently, actually, we just recently put up the video of our last performance at the Williams Center back in on June. YouTube, yeah. So it's about a about an hour, fifteen hour mm -hmm. and a half of, of music there, about ten songs, and also it's. All new this time, so. <laughs> but like our last one, we had uh, About, yeah. banjo kazooie yeah, a lot of and uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah. Uh, Fallout. We had Fallout Four. Oh, how could I forget Fallout? That drum. <laughs> I knew that drum was coming, and it still made me. It jump. was great. We have huge, huge bass drum, and when you're not um, expecting it, you hear that and you jump. <laughs> we also have a Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, um, basically anywhere on social media. It is New Jersey GSO. That is our handle. Um, you can follow us on pretty much all socials, yeah. and that's our handle. Yeah, you can find and you can find the link at, at our website yeah. as well. So, all right, thank you guys for coming out. Absolutely, thank our you for having for us for being here. And for you viewers out there, I better see you this Sunday at the Williams Center, 5 p.m. sharp, baby. Here's Day Glow with Can I Call You Tonight. <laughs>